Hey there, productive people. How's it going? My name is Carter Sirach, and in today's video, we're talking about planning your week using Sunsama. This is by far the best planning app that I've come across to date. Uh, I've used Trello for this. I've used Friday.app for this. I've used Notion to some extent to try to accomplish planning your week. And I thought those were all great options, but when it comes down to it, when you wanna find just like a bare bones app that holds your hand and actually helps you do what you need to do to focus, Sunsama is the best app I've found to do that yet. So I'm sat down here on a Sunday morning with my uh, chai tea shot of espresso. So yeah, I'm just gonna get into planning my week and I wanna bring you guys along with me to show you this awesome app. So jumping right in, this is what you get presented with when you first open up Sensama. Actually, you'll probably go through an onboarding if it's your first time giving it a shot. I am going to leave a link in the description. If I can find an affiliate link, it will be an affiliate link. If not, I'll just leave a normal link in the description. Give it a try because I believe it is a free trial or at least it was when I signed up. So uh, this is what it'll look like. I'm in dark mode right now. I know some people aren't huge dark mode fans, but they have a light mode as well. So don't worry about that. Um, and as you can see upon first inspection, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is kind of add tasks right here. So just for an example, I could put in task of plan my week. And this is kind of just a check button to say it's complete. Uh, this is a scheduling button, so I can set a date. This is the time button. So this is where you plan in how much time it's going to take. This is one of the things that I really like about this application is it forces you, or it doesn't force you, but it nudges you into tracking where your time is going a little bit better so that you can actually see what you ended up doing on the day. And then you can kind of see what you planned versus what it actually took to get things done. So it helps you manage expectations a little bit when you're planning and it just makes you a better planner overall. So if I'm gonna plan my week, I know it's gonna take at least 30 minutes um, just be just being realistic. And like, let's say I wanted to start doing that particular task. I could click on this and then from there, I can click this little play button and that will open up this window right here. So this is the focus window. And if you wanna take a break, you just hit break and it's actually just going to uh, record a quick break. And then if you wanna go back to focus, it's going to, uh, if you hit start, it's gonna continue where that timer left off so that it's constantly counting it. And this is just good to leave in another window while you're working. And if you need to, it's got notes. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much that. You can also do like headings and stuff like that with these notes. Not as in depth as something like Notion would be for a page, but that's kind of what I like about this is how bare bones it is. And the fact that it's just tracking, um, you can add subtasks in here as well and uh, plan and get the actual time for those as well. But usually I just stay on uh, the primary task level because if something's made it over to Sensama, it probably has already been a subtask in some other application that I'm using. Uh, I like to use Notion to kind of forecast and write out my objectives, uh, plan for, for bigger goals. So by the time it gets to Sensama, it's a little bit more tactical, um, drilled down tasks. Uh, so don't usually take advantage of subtasks, but that is a feature if it's something that you need. You can also tag your tasks so that you know exactly what it's meant for. Uh, planning my week, I would say, is probably personal. Uh, you know, when we're self-employed, personal and business kind of have uh, a line that's hard to draw between them. A lot of things come down to uh, personal when it comes to just like my normal routines and rituals and whatnot. Speaking of rituals, you can also come up to the top left corner here, click the drop down, and you'll notice that there's this rituals tab here. So there's a daily planning tab, a weekly planning tab, and a weekly review tab. But weekly planning is the one we're gonna be looking at today because this video is about planning your week in Sansama. So let's click on weekly planning ritual here, and it's going to open up this very interactive sort of like walkthrough you can uh, enter your tasks into. So the first thing that it's gonna prompt us with is our weekly objectives. So I like to keep this pretty simple. Um, just keep it at a few objectives for the week. So for this week, I'm just gonna do two primary objectives. Okay, so objective one is to film three videos for Productive Dude. And I might as well put a plus here. So if I can get ahead, that would be good too. So 
film three plus videos for Productive Dude. And for channel, uh, let's add in a channel actually. Um, let's go to manage channels here, create channel. And I'm just gonna put in a YouTube channel or I could, I could just put in Productive Dude just so I can start tracking how much time is going into Productive Dude versus my other day-to-day -day work. Personal context, this is categorize, categorized tasks in the context as personal. Um, so if you wanna make it like personal, that's fine, it'll, it'll make it private here. I guess that's probably useful if you're working with a team and you don't want them to see all of your tasks. Um, but I just use Sunsama for personal reasons. Um, so everything's personal pretty much already. Uh, so I'm just going to hit create. And now we have Productive Dude here. So I'm gonna hit close and it's back to our uh, weekly objectives. So let's hit Productive Dude. Another objective that I'm gonna add is complete the Productive Dude website. All right, so now I have these two objectives here. I'm just gonna hit next. And this is what I like. It's, it's kind of uh, doing all the steps for you. So if you want to, you can post this directly to Slack if you do a Slack integration. I don't, but it almost creates like a humanized uh, weekly plan here just so people can kind of see what your weekly plan is all about and then you can hit done if you want to you can skip this step in the future so you'll notice after you set your weekly objectives you're going to basically just be pulled back to your task list you can toggle between task view and calendar view just to see like more of a timeline that's kind of what calendar view is for and tasks is just a way to see your overall tasks um, but what I'm gonna do is just hit plan day when I'm ready to plan a day. So we're planning tomorrow right now, Monday, and I'm just going to create some tasks. So my first task is going to be plan three productive dude videos. And let's click the time button so we can set a planned amount of time that we're gonna take to plan the videos. Let's just say one hour for planning. And you'll see that over here on the right, it just shows time remaining for all of the total work. So as I add tasks in here, like let's say workout, uh, let's make that personal and let's set a planned amount of time for that. Let's say an hour and a half for the total workout. Since this is a personal task, it's actually not gonna add to this, but if I added in a, another work task, like create budget tracker for green line media, and I call that work, and then I set a planned amount of time of an hour and a half, you'll notice that this adds up right here. So total work time remaining. You can also click into specific tasks and align them with objectives. So this task right here, plan three productive dude videos, I'm gonna click on it and I'm just gonna click these three dots up here and hit align with objective and we're gonna align that with this objective right here. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. So now I have some tasks for tomorrow that are aligned with my weekly objectives and that's good because usually you wanna have weekly objectives that tie into your yearly goals uh, or that tie into your monthly goals, your quarterly goals, and then your yearly goals to be more specific, just so that you're reaching those bigger goals that you set. Because a lot of people plan out their year or they try to plan out their year or try to make a goal for a year, but they don't necessarily drill down into what needs to happen on a daily basis to reach those goals. Or they just simply don't care enough about those goals to make them a priority. Um, and some people are in some really sad situations, unfortunately, where uh, you know they feel like they can't achieve their goals. But if you break your goals down and you try to keep your health and your mental state in a good place, there's no reason why you can't achieve most goals. I mean, humans are pretty resilient and pretty good at what they do. Um, we've done a lot of great things in human history. So I encourage you to you know open up Sensama, plan out some weekly objectives for the bigger things that you want to achieve and uh, align them with some objectives in your tasks. And then just, you know, settle in, click on that task and hit start and just get to, you know, carving out the future that you wanna carve out for yourself. So once you're done planning your day, you can just hit next. And if you wanted to, from here, you could drag over to the other days if you wanna, if you wanna drag those tasks out, or you can just add a task for Tuesday. So like, let's say I just wanted to add a workout for Tuesday as well. Well, I'm just going to click on that and duplicate it. And then I'm gonna pull that over to Tuesday. And let's get a little bit more specific here. So I actually have this application on my phone that I use for working out. It's called Fitness AI. And it just comes up with workouts for me. Um, but I'm just going to see what it has planned for me on 
uh, tomorrow and Tuesday so that I can put that in. So tomorrow looks like it's a shoulder workout. So let's just specify that there, shoulder workout. And then the next one looks to be chest, triceps, abs workout. It might not hurt to actually create a context for health in here, um, or maybe like fitness. Uh, yeah, maybe physical, physical activity might be good. So let's do blue for that, hit create. And for workouts, I think that would be good to uh, pin to workouts, just so it's not just uh, personal. Uh, I, I'd like to be able to narrow this down and really see where my time is going a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to try to start using these tags more. There's actually a lot of features that I haven't taken full advantage of in Sansama, and I'm really just starting to uncover the power of it. But as you can see, you can also hover over uh, different features in here and you can uh, see some shortcuts. So for this particular uh, assigning a channel or whatever it might be, uh, you can hit Q. So if I wanna hit Q, it would just pull that up and I could uh, select what channel I want for this. A little bit quicker. I'm sure it's just like anything else, as you get using it more and more, you're going to learn the shortcuts and you're gonna be more effective in the software. You'll be able to get through it quicker. But the nice thing is, is that Sansama does have some good shortcuts here. I'm gonna hit next. And this is where we finalize our plan and we actually drag it into the time slots on our calendar. So shoulder workout, that's gonna start at eight o'clock. Then plan productive dude videos. Actually, we'll be a little bit after that because you need time to uh, do breakfast and shower. So if I wanted to at this point, I could click into here and I could say breakfast, add one in for shower. And you can sort of drag these if you wanna make them a little bit smaller. And there you have it. You have a color coded visual of how you're spending your time throughout your day. This is pretty nice because it gives you another way to see what you're prioritizing. It's also good to do little daily planning sessions sprinkled in throughout the week so you can plan and you can also adjust your course, make sure that you're uh, sticking to whatever your goals are and that you're on track with everything. And you might need to pivot as well. So maybe you'll kind of change directions a little bit throughout the week based on what your needs are for that week. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to add uh, daily or let's just say plan tomorrow today. That's what Sam Ovens calls it. And uh, Sam Ovens is one of those guys that I really look up to in business. I think he's got a lot of great things that he talks about. And one of them is planning tomorrow today. He says that, you know, basically if you don't plan your day uh, the day before, it's probably not going to happen because when you wake up in the morning and you don't have direction, it's a lot harder to get started. And that leads to a whole snowball effect of other crap that you run into and you just won't have a productive day if you don't plan for it and you don't put in the systems to uh, get things done. So definitely recommend watching some of his stuff. Now I'm gonna hit looks good and boom. Right now we have Monday and a little bit of Tuesday planned but if I wanted to, if I wanted to kind of plan ahead even further, I could start adding tasks in here for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and so on. And if I wanted to go through those rituals again, you just hit this little drop down. You can do a daily planning ritual or a weekly planning ritual. We also have the weekly review that I haven't tried yet, but maybe I'll make a video about that in the future. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Sansama. I'm also going to leave a link in the description of Keep Productive's video about Sansama. He was the one that Francesco kind of uh, got me to look at this application. And, you know, he's kind of the productivity king when it comes to this stuff on YouTube. He's tried out a lot of softwares, so I respect his opinion, and uh, as soon as I looked into it, it didn't disappoint. So, hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope that I passed this along to you, and you learned about a new application that can help you just to focus a little bit easier. Um, I found that Sansama takes a little bit of the difficulty out of planning, a little bit of the added complexity that's kind of unnecessary. Uh, and just focuses on the core thing, which is tasks and timers. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification if you wanna catch my videos. If you don't hit the bell notification, chances are you probably won't catch the videos. And also hit like if you wanna support this channel. It helps out a ton when you hit the like button. And comment below if you have relevant feedback or relevant comment to add to the discussion. I love hearing from you guys. All right, we'll see you. Have a great week. Oh, if you're still here, definitely go ahead and check out a video. I'm gonna have a video linked here that I know you'll love. 
maybe something to do with planning. And then also check out our channel. You can hit this button right here to subscribe uh, or head over to our channel and see some of the other videos that we have to offer. All right, we'll see you in the next one.